Despite its problems, Lockheed Martin's F-35 Joint Strike Fighter is still widely touted as the most advanced fighter in the world, and for good reason. Like all fifth generation fighters, the F-35 was designed with stealth in mind. But it's not just how tough the F-35 is to spot on radar that makes it so special. In fact, the F-35's suite of systems and capabilities actually make other, less advanced fighters more effective just by being in the same neighborhood, which has led many pilots to call the F-35 a quarterback in the sky. Here are some interesting things that you may not have known about America's most expensive and capable fighter program. Number 1. The F-35's augmented reality display gives pilots a serious edge. In most fourth-generation fighter jets like the F-15, F-16, and F-A-18, the pilot's attention is split between multiple monitors and the real world around them. But that just isn't the case in the F-35, thanks to a combination of expensive headgear, a heads-up display, and the aircraft's powerful onboard computers. Instead of showing different data feeds on different monitors, all sensor data accumulated by the F-35 is fused into a single augmented reality view displayed both in the pilot's helmet and on one large screen. As the pilot looks around, the pertinent data moves with his or her line of sight, even highlighting friendly and enemy forces and providing important information about positioning and rate of travel. Thanks to a suite of onboard cameras, the pilot can even switch to a full augmented reality view in low light conditions that will allow him or her to look through the aircraft at targets beneath or behind the fighter. This streamlined perspective of the battle space can then be shared with other aircraft in the area that lack the F-35's data fusion capabilities. And this gives the pilots of older aircraft far better situational awareness than their dated onboard systems could possibly provide. Number two, the F-35 can destroy targets without ever firing a shot. One significant challenge facing F-35 pilots in the fight is the aircraft's limited ability to carry ordnance. While retaining its stealth profile, the F-35 can only carry a measly four missiles in its internal weapons bays, far fewer than can be carried on external hardpoints on fourth-generation fighters. The F-35 gets around this limitation, however, thanks once again to its data fusion capabilities. Instead of wasting its relatively meager internal payload on ground targets, it can relay the targeting data to other assets, including aircraft and even ground-based missile and rocket platforms. In October of 2018, the U.S. Marine Corps successfully hit a target with an M142 high-mobility artillery rocket system, something we usually call HIMARS, using target data relayed by an F-35 flying high overhead. The ability to utilize weapon systems like the HIMARS in place of its internal payload really increases the jet's combat effectiveness while allowing it to retain its stealthy profile. In the future, as highly capable fourth-generation jets like the F-15EX enter service, the Air Force even plans to link these fighters so that F-15s can fire missiles at targets spotted by their stealth F-35 wingmen, serving as arsenal planes or missile magazines for the stealthy jet. Number 3. The F-35 can say, screw stealth and go full beast mode. It is true that the F-35 can only carry four weapons internally while maintaining its stealth profile, but when flying missions in uncontested airspace, stealth isn't as valuable as firepower. That's why Lockheed Martin came up with what they call the F-35's quote, beast mode, but most of the rest of us normal people refer to this as the third day of war loadout. That third day is in reference to the idea that the first two days of war would involve stealthy platforms like the F-35 engaging enemy air defenses, so that by the third day, it could fly without any concern about being detected by enemy radar. Without enemy radar to contend with, it doesn't really matter that the F-35's stealthy shape would be compromised by additional weaponry hanging off its wing pylons. 
In this third day of war or beast mode configuration, the F-35 can carry over 18,000 pounds of ordnance spread across 11 hardpoints, which really gives this aircraft the ability to operate like a fourth generation jet when it comes to delivering a whole lot of hate to its targets. Despite its bad press and high operating costs, the United States still intends to order more than 2,000 F-35s before it completes its production run, meaning it's very likely going to be the workhorse of just about all of America's future airborne operations. When that day arrives, the F-35's beast mode loadout will likely see plenty of use in combat operations that are currently being handled by platforms that are dating out of service, like the infantryman's favorite A-10 Warthog and the Air Force's current workhorse, F-16 Fighting Falcon. Of course, with the Air Force now considering the development of an entirely new fifth generation minus platform that would incorporate some of the F-35's capabilities into a cheaper package, we may end up with fewer F-35's than we anticipate. But whether the United States ends up operating 10 F-35's or 10,000, there's no denying that this incredibly capable aircraft with an incredibly problematic acquisition process will change the way military aviation operates for decades to come. I'm Alex Hollings for Sandbox News. Make sure you swing by sandboxnews.com today and every day for all the latest news, information, and entertainment from all around the force. Make sure you click like and subscribe down below this video, and don't forget to tap on that bell icon so you never miss a drop.